Well, happy semester, everyone. Um, my name is Dan Stasco. I'm going to be your guide this semester, and I'm going to just do a quick walkthrough of the syllabi, um, talking about uh, how the course is going to be laid out this semester, and that uh, all that extra information that normally we spend the first 20, 30 minutes of class. So I'm going to put it here in this sort of video version of the syllabi, and then you can refer back to it if you need it. Um, those of you that have me, had had me before know that um, I'm relatively informal. Dr. Dan is fine. Dan works when you talk to me in class. Uh, and I have uh, no real issues with uh, just being, you know, hey you. So, so um, my uh, office is located in room 222C. Um, that's near the restrooms um, across from the anatomy and phys labs down on the second floor of the LAC building and I'm in one of those cubbies you please you're welcome to find me anytime there uh, on the days and on the, on my door and on the blackboard website will be um, a map of my schedule not every day is available because often we teach along so my contact information um, probably be splashed over here somewhere um, email is the preferred way of contacting me, but I also have my phone numbers on there listed. Feel free to call, uh, call my cell, call anytime. I will get the message and I I'll endeavor to get back to you. Um, do not expect instantaneous replies. It's, uh, there's life happens and so uh, usually I check my email messages in the morning and I check them before I leave for work and um, if you email me on Tuesday or on the day before class and you expect me to reply to you in the middle of the night chances are I won't because I'll be seeing you in class the next day so uh, feel free uh, to take that into consideration email is the preferred way of contact it is also the university's way of disseminating information so use your email address and everyone has a humane email address um, and we will be using those addresses in class for various other activities. So make sure that you are able to access that account. If you have your email forwarded to your Yahoo or whatever junk mail that you happen to have, then um, make sure that you are checking those messages. I don't often send super critical information via email, but um, if people have persistent questions and um, I do need to make a uh, deviations then I often will send those out via email. Um, my office hours are listed right so uh, but those are just the hours when I'm definitely going to be in my office. Any other time make an appointment I mean I am here I live 10 minutes away from campus so I can be here. Also there's the um, computerized options it's very possible to to use these devices that we all have for um, virtual office hours, contacting me and setting up a virtual appointment that you could then use. That way you don't have to drive in just to come and see me, as pleasant as that is. So that's, that's the main aspects. Um, I'm always happy to meet. In fact, I want you to come see me if you have any questions whatsoever. Lecture. Lecture is not really optional. Um, we have an assessment almost all the time, and so that means that uh, also we learn in class. Surprisingly, few people pass when they miss a lot of classes. So um, your, your attendance of class is, I won't say mandatory, but it's very much um, a key to your success. The, um, oftentimes there are problem sets and homework that need to be done in advance. It's best to attempt these processes. But lecture is your opportunity to come and ask questions. Your, your main job in the lecture is asking questions, figuring out the things that you don't know, and, and probing me for uh, to help fill in those gaps. Um, for quizzes and things like that, um, I'm, I'm not a big big fan of makeup work. It, it makes life difficult for everybody. 
um, excused absences uh, in advance. You can take uh, um, quizzes early. Very rarely can you take them late. Unexcused absences, well, then your grade will just be docked. And there are a small list of university-approved excused absences. Academic support. If you need more assistance or accommodations because of other reasons, um, make an appointment with me as soon as possible and we'll, we'll get uh, the requisite work done that would get you uh, in compliance with the rest of the university. If you run into difficulty, contact me. Uh, and there are many resources on campus that can be used to uh, uh, help meet your needs and, and make you succeed. This includes the Counseling Center and Office of Ad Academic Support and Disability Students. Academic Support for Students with Disabilities. Um, distractions. Respect your classmates. They're paying the same amount of this for this class as you are. Um, turn off your pagers. Turn off pagers. Do people even have pagers these days? Turn off your cell phones. Um, if you're going to be checking Facebook on class, please um, make sure that your status updates are are uh, very kind to your instructor. No, no text messaging. You know, sitting there on on the like. Um, it's distracting for me, and it's distracting for your classmates. Um, if you if you really don't want to come to class, don't come to class. So, additionally, come prepared for class. Uh, yeah, okay, I know we occasionally forget to do homework, no big deal, but don't make it a habit. Okay. Plagiarism, cheating, falsification, all of that will be dealt with severely. Um, university uh, has a um, community standards office where we discuss this uh, idea of academic integrity. So uh, please review the website listed for more information. We rely on Blackboard for a lot of things. So uh, um, go make sure Blackboard's working for you. If you run into any technical issues, contact me. But also feel free to rely on the help desk as well. That's really about all I wanted to talk about. Everything else is very class specific. Um, the only consistent thing in all of my grading is that I grade on a straight scale. And I don't really offer extra credit. So if you're thinking that, oh, we'll get an extra credit assignment, um, you're, you're probably wrong. So um, I grade on a very straight scale, 90, 80, 70, 60, and surprisingly uh, few deviations from that. My last a was 89 percent. So um, don't expect there to be a curve or anything like that. Other than that, we uh, have a, a, a relatively long class, three hours, um, roughly, two and a half hours. Uh, I try to break it up. Um, we spend the first 5, 10, 15 minutes of class going over questions. This is your uh, response time. Often it involves board work, you up at the board. And then there's a quiz early in, this, in, early in the time frame of the class. Right? Um, then some more lecture, and then a break, and then another lecture component. And then maybe, uh, maybe some uh, other activities at the end. Right? For anything else, uh, we'll refer to the syllabus. These documents um, are flexible. There's a very detailed course schedule that will... Um, break down what we will be covering, but because of the, the variance in how we quickly we go through material, that is not set in stone. So um, this is very much subject to change, and anything discussed in class supersedes whatever is on this video. So uh, we'll have uh, more detailed in, in information in class and as the semester develops. So again, any questions? Email me, all right? I'm uh, happy to answer uh, email and phone messages. Uh, and uh, that's about it. All right, so uh, take care and have a good semester.